you will slash your scores following these four course management points. And this is exactly what's coming up in today's video. We've now altered our entire alignment down the left hand side. This way to illustrate this is, look at that. That is absolutely pure. Safe as houses, middle of. When I'm chipping, I never look at the flag, okay? And what I mean by that is, number one, play with what you've got. Now, some of us might hook it, but I bet the majority of us slice the golf ball. So what I'm gonna say to you is, but there's a reason why I'm saying it this way and you've gotta follow this method. If you slice it, just allow for it on the day. Leave the range for improving your ball flight, play with what you've got. That's what the pros do, but this is the difference. So. Where a lot of people go wrong is they have their intention, let's say this line here, as middle of the fairway. So they're, they're, they're aiming their club down the middle of the fairway, right? And then what they do is they think they're compensating, so they aim their body left. All you're doing is encouraging relative to where your face is pointing a more across the golf ball action. That's fatal. Have a look at those lines there. One's down the fairway, one's way left. Now, what I want you to do is this, right? Let's erase those. I want you to have your ball to target line starting a little left, okay? But then just match that with your feet. So you're moving your entire alignment left. You've not got a mishmash like this and player cam. Have a look at that there that's where you were, we've now altered our entire alignment down the left hand side. And that is key. So the first tip is move your entire alignment to the left hand side, play with what you've got. What I mean by everything is our knees, our feet, our hips, our shoulders, and our forearms. Now have a look at this. I'm a bit of a fader, so let it come back. Straight back into the middle of that fairway, just like that. Tip number one. Now have a look where this has finished. So went over that tree, over that bunker and looped back into the fairway here. Now, each every one of these tips is absolutely crucial. So make sure you listen to the next three because one of them could be the difference for you breaking 100, 90, 80 or even 75. Right, on to the next. Oh my days, have a look at this line. Now, number two on our list, when unfortunately we do hit it in trouble, if you can even see that ball there, you need a plan of getting out. And what I want you to remember this tip number two is, don't be a hero. Get the ball back out into play and sacrifice one shot. Don't sacrifice two, three, or four. Now, to play this shot, go and choose one of your most lofted clubs. Aim a little right of where target is. So if I'm aiming to get it out in line with that tree, I'm gonna aim just on the right half of that. And the simple fact is the grass catches the club. And the easiest way to illustrate this is, look at that. Look how it's twisted. So if it twists like that, look at my grip, it's not moved, it's twisted the ball's gonna shoot out left. So aim a little right, grip pressure a lot more, and just expect the ball to pop out left of where you anticipate. Use a lot of loft and a lot of speed. There we go. Aimed over here, look where it's finished. We're back out, we're in play. We've only cost ourselves one shot, not loads. Can you see how practically these are gonna help slash your scores? Okay. Next on our list, and I always find people get full foul of this the closer they get to the green. Not taking on a short-sided flag. So have a look at this illustration on the screen. When your flag is either close to the right side or close to the left, I want you to think about staying away from trouble. Now the key to doing this is have a look at this on player cam. This is a great example. This flag here is slightly tight towards the right hand side, but what I'm doing with my club here is I'm holding it up and really picking out a target in the far ground to the left of that flag. I then pick out a target just in front of me and that's where I aim. I don't get drawn into that flag because number three in our list, avoid being short-sided. That requires a hero shot. You keep hero shots off your scorecard or out your game, your scores will drop like a stone which is exactly what I want you to do. Okay, have a look at this. I've aimed towards the left of that flag. 
avoiding the short side. So if I do miss, I've got a basic chip and run. That is absolutely pure. Safe as houses, middle of that green. The final one, because we're not always gonna hit the green, are we? But we need the plan of how we get it up and down. Now, listen to what I'm gonna say here. When I'm chipping, I never look at the flag, okay? And what I mean by that is, so imagine, right? I asked you to get a ball in your hand, and I said, right, go on, land it and roll it to get it all the way to that flag, just like this. You'd be looking where you want the ball to land in order then, tell you what, this is not a bad roll, this. How did that not go in? You want the ball to, you'd be looking where you want the ball to land to then roll out. If you were looking at the flag, you'd be throwing it all the way to the flag. So when you're hitting a chip, select the club you think where you've got to land it and roll it. So what I mean by that is, I think seven iron, if I land it and pick my spot, roughly, let's say, here is where I'm gonna focus. Seven iron will give me the land and the roll out towards that flag. I then make my practice swings just focusing on that spot only. Just that spot only. I forget the flag, I then let the club do the work. It's a lot easier to land something closer to you, focus on that, than thinking all the way to the flag. So tip number four, concentrate on your landing zone and pay more attention to that than the flag. Let your club selection, let everything else do the work for you. So watch this. I've already shown you the roll. Watch the shot. Look at this shot. This is going to be, I mean, you'd, take, you'd absolutely take everybody's shot there, wouldn't you? You'd love to take that shot all the time. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Use those four tips, lower your scores. In fact, slash them.